what is up guys i'm daddy gamer fred and welcome back to another pokemon sword and pokemon shield news update video in today's video we're gonna be going over leaks for the upcoming crown tundra dlc i'm not talking about rumors i'm not talking about maybes 4chan stuff this is actual data mine information coming from what we believe to be pokemon home we have no clarification on that yet but leaked information has come out of new things new pokemon new legendaries new shiny forms of legendaries that we do know of that are going to appear inside a pokemon sword and shield the crown tundra dlc now this is your spoiler warning if you do not want to see any of these leaked images or be spoiled in any way it's okay leave a like on the video leave a comment peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one However, if you're down for the leaks, if you're down for the spoiler conversation, let's go. We're going to dive directly right into it. First off, let's just get the house cleaning stuff out the way. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time, talking Pokemon, having discussion videos, also doing let's plays and guides and stuff here on the channel. If you're digging the vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit a like on this video. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos. And like I said earlier, leave a comment in the comment section below. I answer all comments so we can have a discussion about the topic of today's video. So again, with that out of the way, let's just dive into these leaks because it seems like every time there's a new Pokemon game, there's a new Pokemon update, there's a new Pokemon DLC now, now that we got DLC, there's leaks. There's <laughs> the Pokemon company cannot stop them. They're going to happen, especially when they come from data mined information coming from the Pokemon home server. That's what I believe anyway, this information is coming from based on what we are seeing. We're seeing images of the Pokemon in their models that is similar art to what we've seen from Pokemon home. That is leading me to believe that these images are coming from the Pokemon home servers now again leakers the people that are leaking I believe didn't clarify where they get this information from and I'm pretty sure they're not going to they're not gonna reveal their sources and stuff like that which which I 100% understand they don't want to get caught but it does leave us the opportunity to talk about them so again here's your spoiler warning three two one look at these babies now when i say look at these babies i mean look at these babies so first off shout outs to central leaks over on twitter all of these images that you well this image that you've seen on screen is coming from them and they compose and compiled basically everything from the dlc that is worth actually checking out Pokemon wise, this doesn't include anything from the story in this leak. This is just stuff that is going to be in Pokemon Home, I believe, as well as Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Center DLC. And as you can see, right off the top, we get the three legendary birds plus their shiny forms. One thing to know is, which I think it's a dope touch, is that their shiny forms are actually the colors of their original forms, which to me is a dope callback, especially that blue Articuno. It looks so sexy in that form. It just, it looks so dope. I can't wait to actually try to shiny hunt that. Hopefully we can shiny hunt them in these games. And again, this does not confirm that these Pokemon are gonna be able to obtain shiny just because we've seen these leaks. This just could be that Pokemon Home is also accounting for the shiny versions, hence why they have both the regular version and shiny versions. This does not confirm that we're gonna be able to shiny hunt for the legendary birds inside of the Crown Tundra DLC. Hopefully, I do hope that is the case because that would be pretty cool, especially to grab this blue Articuno. The Zapdos looks cool in yellow. I do kind of like the orange though. I'm not going to lie. The orange has grown on me. The black and red Motres, I think I like better than the OG version a little bit. So that one, I think the, the regular color looks fine, but that shiny one does look cool as well. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the OG legendary birds being shiny. And I think they look incredible. I can't wait and hope we are able to shiny hunt them. Now, let's go over to the new Pokemon that aren't available anywhere else besides the Crown Tundra DLC. And that is the two new Regis. Let's go over a little Thunder Boy. The only thing that's changing on him with the shiny is what it looks like to be like the metal part that's kind of connecting everything. It turns out that that part turns white 
and then that's it the yellow could be a little bit lighter but we can't really tell from these images you can see the blue and then on the shiny one you can see that it is white so again a little shiny boy he doesn't really change that much moving over to the dragon reggie is pretty much the same thing the only thing we get is a different bone coloration on the dragon boy so the, the, where it looks more i don't want to say in this image it looks more green on top of the red and then on the shiny one it looks more blue on top of the red so that's pretty much it as far as the shiny colorations for those pokemon now the next pokemon we got to talk about is of course a brand new one a unannounced one and how <laughs> what this is so dope because the pokemon company hasn't shown a zip line of nothing about this pokemon and the fact that they have another pokemon potentially that could be a legendary pokemon inside a pokemon sword and shield crown tundra dlc to me is fucking dope Thank you, Pokemon Company, for going the extra mile and including new Pokemon because that was one of my fears going into the DLC is that we weren't going to get new Pokemon. We are going to get the new Regis. We we're going to get the Galarian versions of the birds that we weren't going to get new, new Pokemon. However, we are. We getting this, what it looks like to be, and I could be wrong on the typing, an ice horse? Maybe an ice ghost horse? I, I You really can't tell. I'm going to go with ice as is full typing right now as a prediction hopefully i get proven wrong in this ice ghost i think that would be a cool typing but again it does look like an ice horse it looks similar to what you know something out of frozen kind of frozen 2 where they she has an ice horse this kind of looks the same where it's an all white horse where the tips have frozen ice fur on it that's what it looks like ice fur and especially on the back it does look kind of like the head and the fur on the back the mane on the back kind of continues the ice and we also get a look at the shiny variant and the shiny variant basically just turns the ice a purple tint which also looks pretty cool and then moving on to the second new horse yes I said second new horse because we got two new what I'm calling legendaries they have to be legendaries they might not be they might just be regular Pokemon, but the fact that the Pokemon company is kind of hiding them and the fact that they have a fusion with a mythical Pokemon is kind of hinting to the fact that these might be legendary Pokemon. But the next legendary Pokemon, horse legendary Pokemon, we get is a black and purple and then also like light pink tail horse. And again, this looks more in par to, you know, similar designs that we've seen with the Vulpix as well if you think about it now that i'm thinking about it the fact that one horse is ice and the other one it could be dark just because of the fact that it's a black horse and it's purple hair i'm gonna call it a dark type again prediction or maybe a fairy type however it does kind of follow the same theme as urshifu when urshifu has a i believe a water stance and a dark stance so to me, that's why I'm leaning more on dark than fairy. And then looking at the shiny variant, the purple hair turns more of a red. I don't want to say fully red because it does look a bit more pink. But then that's it. Everything else stays the same. The black stays the same. The pink tail looks a little bit more pink. Uh, actually, the, the tail on the first guy now looks more... Looking at the second... Looking at the shiny form, it looks pink, the tail. But comparing that to the first guy, it, the tail does look they're like a light violet purple more than pink because the second tail is definitely pink non-shiny version does look a little bit just violet and again these designs do look incredible and i can't wait to get them in game questions i think one i think these horses if anything are gonna be version exclusive and if they are oh my heart Oh, hopefully they're like Urshifu where you can choose one or the other. And basically, if you have a second playthrough in your game, you can just restart the Crown Tundra on a, on a different save file and play through to you're able to catch the Pokemon and then catch the alternate version. Hopefully we get to do that because a totally if one is in sword and the other one's in shield. Oh, my God. I can just hear my heart screaming by the other version but hopefully that's not the case and then we get um i forget this guy's name with the big dome on his head the crytex or something like that we get him and 
we seen him before, so we know what the regular version looks like. The shiny version of him, however, which I could be 100% if he is a mythical Pokemon, there's no way we're gonna get this shiny in game. And basically, it just turns the white, everything that's white on him is like a golden tint, or maybe like a cell yellow tint. And again, it looks pretty cool, it doesn't look too extra. I was hoping we got like a red version of him, but yeah, I mean, it's just a little change. They usually always do that for the mythicals anyway, like just change like a little bit. Besides Celebi, Celebi, they, they change the whole color scheme. But again, just a little bit of change on the shiny version for Crytex. Then we get another interesting part because I have to bring up a couple of old rumors that were speculating that Crytex were going to be able to ride on new horses. That was like a rumor going around. I got to find out what rumor actually said that. If you do know, link it in the description so we can have a discussion video about that. But here we are with them actually being true and we can see Crytex riding on both of those brand new horse Pokemon. We see them on the ice one and we also see them on the dark one. Literally just riding on top of it like if he owned them. It's pretty cool. It looks kind of weird at first, but then when you look at it and see, it looks pretty dope. I can't wait to throw that out of a Pokeball because to me, that's going to be like, what? <laughs> but I can't wait to throw that out of a Pokeball if they are catchable. We don't know. But that looks like a incredible looking Pokemon, both of them together. And for the shiny versions, the horses don't change shinies, but Crytex, the uh, mythical does. The mythical one does sh change its shiny tint from the white to the sail yellow. I'm gonna say sail yellow, but it, it, it looks like golden. You know what I'm saying? It changes that, that's it. You don't get the purple ice. You don't get the red hair on the black horse. That's kind of disappointing, but we've seen the same thing with Sogaleo and Lunana when they fuse with Necrozma, so that is kind of to be expected. However, these are dope looking forms and these are dope looking shinies and I can't wait for the Crown Tundra. Let me know your thoughts about all of this new leaked information in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so again, let's have that conversation down there. And if you are new around here, I do videos like this every day. Talking Pokemon, playing Pokemon, playing Call of Duty, playing tons of other games. I'm also going through Crash 4 as well on the channel. Also making guides for Mario 64. So again, if you dig the vibes, hit that subscribe button, join the family. Also, hit the like button for me. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one